I was wondering whether you could tell us how you first began uh, doing the work you're doing in wetlands litigation. Well, it certainly wasn't law school that uh, sent me in that direction because when, when I went to law school, I, uh, as far as I knew, environmental law did not exist as, a, as a, uh, an area of study or, or practice for that matter. Uh, but I did very much want to work in the public sector for the federal government. Um, so I interviewed with pretty much any federal agency that came out to Stanford to, to interview. Uh, and I ended up in the Department of Energy. Um, and I suppose there's enough of a relationship between energy and environment that uh, that's what led me ultimately into an environmental practice. I, I was at the Department of Energy for, for three years and then I was in private practice for five years. I uh, very much wanted to go back into the public sector. Um, and not, not that uh, private practice isn't a perfectly uh, gratifying uh, way to, to have your career, uh, but for me I, 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 there was that desire to go back into the public sector and think of as working for the for the public good and um, I interviewed applied to and interviewed with the Department of Justice even though I had had very little litigation experience and they saw something in my background that attracted them so I ended up in the environmental defense section in the environment it wasn't the environment division then it was the lands division right. at that time right. uh, and I would say I got my litigation experience at that point uh, by being thrown in, it was trial by fire, literally, at least the trial part was, was literal. Um, and uh, three years later, I was actually promoted into a management position. Wow. So that was, that was Fast rather track. awkward because I, I never felt like I had gotten the litigation experience myself. Mm -hmm. uh, and here I was uh, supervising other people were doing uh, trial work, uh, and I, I was learning at the same time they were. Right. So, uh, so um, I'm still there, uh, 28 and a half years later. Wow. Uh, and it's uh, never been a dull moment. Every day is new. Every case is different from everything that came before it. Has the section grown significantly over the years? Uh, very much so. Um, I believe there were 19 attorneys when I first started. Okay. Um, and now we're at about 55 attorneys in the section. Okay. Um, but that's indicative of, of the expansion of, of environmental litigation generally. I mean, there's um, so much going on in the courts. Uh, 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 both environmental plaintiffs as well as industry plaintiffs, um, everything. We, we defend EPA mostly in our practice in the Corps of Engineers and in the 404 program. And uh, you know, pretty much everything those agencies do is controversial and is uh, in some way um, unsatisfactory to one side or the other and very often both sides.